Hey, hello, and welcome to this edition of my Tesla Timeout series. Um, today, I'm just talking quickly about prepping your EV for winter. Now, I'm using my Tesla, obviously, as an example for getting ready for the winter season, but a lot of these uh, things that I'm going to talk about apply to all EVs that are out there. So, let me first start by talking about replacing the wiper blades, and I'll show you how to do it on my Model 3. All kinds of stuff, and one of the things to look at for the winter season is changing your wiper blades. It's always good to change them about once a year because they do wear down. And I was very lucky that my friends at uh, EV Annex or Evanex had sent me a pair of these Kim Blade silicone wiper blades. Uh, now these are pretty cool. Um, I'll have some uh, uh, visuals here in the video to show how they're engineered and how they work a little better than normal wiper blades. But they're pretty straightforward to put on. I've got a long one and a short one on the Model 3, so that's pretty straightforward. So let me show you how to put them on. All right, so before you do anything, you have to bring up your main menu, which of course is just hitting the car up here, and then you have to go into service. And then you'll see, it's gotta be here somewhere, wiper service mode could be on a different part of the menu, but that's what it is. So what first you have to do is put these in wiper service mode. And as you can see, what they do is they lift them up over the hood because you can't bend them out uh, when they're down in their housed position. You gotta be able to uh, lift them out so that you can get access to the blades. So they come with this protector on it, obviously, which you'll need to peel off. But first, what, I, what you do is this. So first, you lift up the blade, and there's a button there that you push on the Tesla blade that's there. So you're basically just lift up, and um, I think it's this part is probably the easiest. If you hold the back, push the button, and pull. Okay, so maybe this way. And just basically push that button in and pull. That's all you have to do. Now, I have the towel over here. What you want to do is put your towel on your glass because if that snaps back, you don't want it to break the glass or scratch the glass. So as you can see, just a simple button and it releases it. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. When you put them on, it's better to hold this down and then push that in. It'll glide nice and easy into the new ones. So we get the new wiper blade here. I'm going to leave this uh, protector piece on just for a sec. So lift this blade up, just reverse the process. Hold down on here, put it into the channel, and slide it in until you hear the lock. And that's it. It's on. So all I'll do is remove this uh, plastic protector from the blade here. Just peel that off nice and slowly, and voila, there's our blade. Nice and easy. So let's do the other one. So again, same process as the passenger side. And now you can't, again, mistake the blades because the passenger is a 19 inch blade and the, the, uh, the driver is a 26 inch blade. So there's a big difference. There's no way you're gonna mess that up. So again, all you do is lift it up, push that button and pull it out. Just like that. Make sure you have the towel underneath. Move your uh, old blade aside here. I'll put it down on the ground and what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this rubber, this protector off right now. Reverse the process. So just push down on this, see how it lifts up. Find that channel, and you just pull it right in to it until it snaps. And there you go, it snaps. Because I can see the, the tab has popped up through that. And that's it. Oh, another snap, so even better. So give it a bit jig jiggle around just in case, so you know that everything's locked in. And there you go. So now I'll take it off of wiper service mode, and it should go down to the house very nicely. Okay, just like that. Yeah, so they fit really nice. So as you can see, they don't touch anything. They're, uh, again, OEM spec wiper blades for the Model 3s are precise fit and they slide under and very nice. So I'm looking forward to, I was getting a bit of streaking on the old blades. I mean, it's been over a year and I got 27,000 kilometers on this car in one year. So a lot of driving, a lot of bugs that I've had to wipe off. I'll tell you that folks, especially this summer. So um, these are great um, uh, wiper blades. They've come highly recommended from Evanix, my friends there, and I thank them very much for sending it to me. All right guys, so part of the this show is obviously about winter, getting ready for winter for those climates that do change and get some cold. So as you can see, I'm uh, changing my tires over to the winter tires. If you watched my video last year, I won't go through it all. Uh, the change process, I bought a set of Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Ice Guards, I believe, and they, uh, they were really good tires. So it's back to changing. It's mid-November almost, and it might be a little bit warmer next week, but we're starting to get frost and into the single digit. So it's always a good time 
to change your tires, and of course, check check your wheels, check your brakes. Just check everything around there. Make sure there's nothing loose, nothing uh, rusted, anything that you can see that might be out of joint, any clips that are loose or anything like that. Just give it a good visual check and a hand check while you're doing that. So it's a good time to change the tires. All right, so you've seen me change the wiper blades and talk about changing tires out. If you need to run winter tires uh, where in the snow belt regions of the world, then you know how to do that. And again, these rules or these um, best practices will apply to any EV. Uh, the next thing you have to talk about or to think about in the colder climates is your battery. So obviously, all EVs, no matter what, even the best ones that are managed with the best BMS software, will lose range capacity in the colder temperature. It's just physics on the batteries. And it can be up to 40, even to 50%, depending on real cold climates and how good the BMS is and the heating and, and all those elements are for the battery pack. So uh, one thing you, that can save on your battery uh, range and your capacities uh, the ability to store energy in the winter is by preconditioning. So if you have your vehicle plugged in, your, your all electric um, or even your plug-in hybrid plugged in over the night and you're ready to go in the morning, um, to set the heat to start at a scheduled time, let's say a departure time or use a timer if it's available in your vehicle. And what that'll do is it'll heat up the interior of your vehicle, especially if it's outside and you need to melt snow or ice while it's still plugged into the to the home or to your level, even your level one, you know, your, your just your 110 outlet or your level two if you have that because it'll draw the energy from the home rather than using the energy in the battery and save some battery by heating up the car, preheating the car and conditioning it. Also, during the evening, the battery heaters and stuff will come on and off as they need to to keep that battery at a decent temperature overnight. So if it's plugged in, it will help. Plug it in as much as you can. It does help the battery. Now, additionally, don't forget, when the battery gets colder, the regenerative capacity or the ability to regenerate power weakens as well. And it's not uncommon to... Um, to get going and find out you don't have that much regen as you normally would in the warmer temperatures. So it does take a while for the battery pack to heat up, to warm up, and to get that regenerative capacity back. Now, obviously, in the winter months, you want to keep an ice scraper and a snow brush and all that stuff in your vehicle. Always good practice to keep that. In fact, it's always good to have a little bit of a cold climate kit as well with you in the vehicle. So a blanket, maybe a small candle and a pack of matches just in case you get stranded somewhere if you get stranded in you know in the middle of the highway and you got to wait for a tow and you know maybe you run out of power maybe something happens or you get a flat tire or whatever um, it's always good to have some sort of emergency kit and you don't have to go out and buy one you can make one together pack a blanket again pack a, a box of matches with a candles just something that if you need to generate some heat and keep warm in the vehicle for a bit um, you'll have something to do that. Um, obviously, a tire inflation kit is good to have, one of those emergency kits that will spray some of that gunk in the tire to, to get you 50, 100, 100 miles, whatever the case is, a couple hundred or 100 kilometers to get you somewhere where you can get your tire fixed if that happens, if it's a small puncture. Those are all good things to have for any vehicle, not just an all-electric. However, in our case, where a lot of people get nervous about range anxiety, it's better to have those, those safety elements in your vehicle Vehicle, especially in the cold winter climates you want to be a little bit extra prepared for these kinds of you know it only takes one emergency to really put yourself to task so be prepared and and spend a little bit and put your own kind of kit together now if you are concerned about a lot of snow and ice and you have the car parked outside it's good to get a car cover and there are lots of car covers available both for teslas and for other evs and all kinds of vehicles so i would encourage you to look at that something that's easy to take on and off or even those partial covers that will cover your windshield uh, from snow and ice let's say uh, uh, during the night or if it's parked during the day there's there's those kind of blankets and covers that are out there any little bit to help, you know, uh, be able to get into the vehicle and, you know, defrost it faster than normal or protect it from some of the elements if you have it sitting outside for long periods of time. All these are good practices to have during the winter cold months. 
And finally, a good practice to conserving energy that EV drivers adopt is the use of keeping your temperature, your cabin temperatures, a little bit lower than nor you may normally have them, and using your seat heaters if you have them, and steering wheel heater, and these kind of elements, because they use less energy than the actual capacitive heaters do in most of the EVs that are today, unless they have heat pumps, but again, they still use energy. So it's, it takes more energy to heat the entire cabin than it does the seat that you're sitting on or the steering wheel that you're grabbing and holding on to. So if you have those elements in those um, features in your vehicle, then use them as well and lower the cabin heat to save on some battery um, range capacity uh, during the colder winter months. So these are just a few recommendations. I'm sure there's lots more, but just common sense in the winter time. By the way, if you have a roadside assistance uh, program that either came with the manufacturer or you can get secondary, it's always a good idea to have something like that. Just that extra coverage in case something happens, you need a tow or something like that. Um, it's good to have that extra coverage um, in, just in case, especially in the winter time, because usually when something happens, it's going to be in not the best uh, weather conditions. That's just the way Murphy operates, folks, around uh, around the globe. So uh, be prepared for kind of a worst-case situation, and uh, then you'll get through it a lot easier. So I hope you enjoyed some of these uh, these tips that I've come out with and some of the video uh, for this episode of My Tesla Timeout. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Soaring through New York City, like in my dreams with New York pretty. I wanna fly down in New York City, run scheming light in New York City. Awakening is falling, dreaded hot. Be sure to stay and stay at high. Bright stone down that hard and night fly. Central hero shining silver beach lullaby. Up down from New York City.